Good morning, it's Saturday morning, just come out at 8 o'clock and we're getting all ready and all dressed to go and find everyone else for Dad and Luke's birthday today. We had a nice cup of tea and biscuits this morning and Dad's opened all his cards and presents and yeah, we're just feeling actually a little bit peckish now for breakfast, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a buffet again which will be good, um, as I say, Covid restrictions are not really there's no covid restrictions really um but yeah we've all got um feel like i'm on the cru going i'm on the back on the cruise at the minute with my jumper on but underneath we've got some special secret t-shirts jacob come and show us yours because i've got a hoodie on we've got some luke's 21st birthday t-shirt which he, i know that he's going to be absolutely thrilled with um <laughs> but <laughs> um yeah, we've all got t-shirts and then Luke's got one that says, I'm Luke, for his birthday. So we're going to wear them for breakfast um, and, yeah, go and find him and see where the day takes us. We've not really got much planned. Um, we've seen a couple of things that we want to do. But, yeah, just take, see where it takes us, relaxing and just enjoying being here. We're just heading into the hotel part of Potter's now <laughs> to find them. I don't even know where we're going. Straight. straight. We're going straight. Yeah. Here we are. What is this? Aunties. So we've just come up to Auntie Nug Mark's room and they've got a nice balcony. Here, it's a nice two-seater here, there, and then they're about here. And then we're just waiting for Luke and adding my thing to do Luke's presents for his birthday. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you! To you. half past eight and we are heading in for breakfast just headed back to the room for a bit to get changed and brush our teeth and now we're just heading for our walk up to the seafront oh there's some football going on over here these are all bungalows all around the edge and we've been in one of these ones before and they're really nice they're much more out of the way and quiet but we're all right where we are it serves a purpose not the best place we've ever stayed in but i'll talk about that another time <laughs> Nice children's play area here. And it's right on the seafront, so we're going to head up, get some fresh air. Over here is the pitch and part. We've been in one of these ones before, which is another four ped one. So there's a door there for a bedroom, and then round this side is another door for, and it's all the same room. Um, and yes, like me and Jacob have been in there before and then mum and dad have been in the main room. But we were just saying the room isn't 
as nice as the ones we stayed at before. Um, I might say something. It is a lot more basic, and I say saying it feels clean, like on the level that it's clean, like the bedding's clean and everything. But when you look closely, like our TV's really dirty in our room. There's just like it's just not been maintained. It doesn't feel. Um, and for like obviously COVID restrictions and everything, it just. I think it could be a lot better. Um, yeah. So that's these ones around here are like what we've had before and we was hoping that we'd get a gift but it's just the room at the end of the day we're not spending much time in it we're literally sleeping in it um and joe getting reggie in that so on the face of it it's fine <laughs> into the bowlers bar here's the bowlers bar isn't it and we've realized that you can get milkshakes on it as well so we've got some vanilla milkshakes and the strawberry milkshake there <laughs> we've got a badminton court booked at 11.30 so we're just picking the equipment up here and then we're going to head back down that way to find the court that we've booked you book the activities on like the website um uncle mark went on and did it and booked a court they open up at half eight in the morning for the day and yeah we booked for half eleven and then we're just gonna do i think we get it for half an hour and then in here is where we play the badminton i can't remember really what court we are right do we remember what court we are and this is our base for the next half an hour badminton Court number two. I'm just gonna come and have a look in the shop. I'm too scared to you. Well, that's a cute little thing for that for my side. Yeah. Got magazines in here. Oh, look at all the Christmas stuff. I love it. Look at all the Christmas. Yeah, I love them all. How cute is this Olaf mini mug? There's a few Disney bits in here. I like this little Olaf though. It's just on one o'clock and we're going to head in for some lunch. Not that I'm hungry at all. I feel like we've only just had breakfast. But lunch is served half twelve till half one. And it's another three quarter meal if you want. So let's go see what's on the menu. Today it's macaroni and cheese. Let's hope that's just as nice as it looks. And we're going to go and find our table. Just had our lunch in the restaurant. The macaroni and cheese was delicious. Much, much better than the cruise, surprisingly. And now we have just picked up some golf clubs because we're gonna go and do crazy golf. Everything at Potter's is included, all the activities, all the food. Um, the, there's a drinks menu that's all included as well. There are premium drinks, but yeah. You just pay your price and then everything's included, which is really good. As I said, I only have to book some things now because of COVID, like in advance. But yeah, Crazy Golf, you could just turn up and pick up the clubs and play, basically. So we're just coming up here. It's really near our room. Um, here it is. Yeah. Welcome to Potter's Adventure and Golf Course.
Good evening everyone. I can't really remember the last time I picked up the camera. We've had a very chilled afternoon. I'm all ready for another night at Potter's. We are heading out to meet auntie and everyone for dinner. It's just on half past six, so dinner is starting at half six. But yeah, we had a really chilled afternoon. Dad, Jacob and Luke and Adam went and did the driving right not driving range, the pitch and putt. Um, after we did the crazy golf and we just sat in the bowlers bar, got a couple of drinks. Um, I've been doing some reading for university and read some of my book. Mum was reading her book as well. And yeah, it was just nice to just chill and take in, take in the surroundings, do some people watching. And yeah, just come back to the room, had a nice shower and all ready for dinner. So we are just going to head out tonight. We're back at the same restaurant, obviously. There's there is two restaurants that I showed you earlier on. Um, but you just keep the same table for breakfast, lunch and dinner at the restaurant, uh, the garden restaurant, wherever you're allocated, um, which is really good. We're really pleased with our table. I had lunch, mac and cheese for lunch, so I'm not really that hungry, but it's gammon for dinner on the carvery, so I'll probably have some of that. See what else there is to eat. <laughs> everyone Rebecca from the future here just want to say in these next few clips you're going to hear someone shooting someone or you're going to hear someone saying shoot him shoot them all that is Mark Brewer and it is with a water gun it is water please don't panic this is just sort of the entertainment that happens in the evening just a bit of fun and you'll see what you need to do to not get squirted with a water gun so yes it's a water gun, please. Water pistol, please do not panic. Gentlemen, yes, it's time to Everyone, put your hands in the air. Good morning everyone, it is Sunday morning and I'm not sure if you can hear me with these beautiful sound of waves in the background and the beautiful sunset, let me see if it will focus, probably not, but we have come down to the beach for a little walk, there is a path as you can see down some steps from Potter's and we've come down for a walk it's just on eight o'clock on sunday morning i was a bit of a bad vlogger yesterday i don't actually know what i told you or what we did but it's a bit awkward here as much as there is stuff to show you and places to show you it is quite it's quite busy and obviously with a family like there's eight of us to like at the table obviously to show food and stuff it's a bit it's a bit awkward but yeah we're having a really good time it's really good being back. We're taking it slow. We're not doing heaps of activities. Just enjoying being here all together. Change of scenery now because it was way too windy and 
noisy down on the beach but yeah the halloween show last night was really good it was that was the first time that that show was being shown performed <laughs> at potter's this year um so yeah it was really good the sound it was preferred it to last night's uh preferred it to friday night's one um I don't know whether it was where we were sitting, we were sitting down low, so you felt more in it. The voices on Friday night just sounded like not as loud, like not as strong, but last night they sounded absolutely fine. Like they were brilliant, brilliant voices, amazing dancing. And then afterwards they did like a little show. Mark Brewer did like a little jokey comedy show where he picked up people from the audience. There's, you can tell the families and the people that come like regularly um, and are known to Mark Brewer, who is like the main man, the main entertainment man here. Um, but yeah, now we're just heading up for breakfast after a lovely morning walk down the seafront. Very hungry now. We're heading back up. We booked a couple of things this morning. Yeah, we've got some dark boards and some snooker tables. We've just come into the garden bar to do a Disney quiz. Of course, we had to do the Disney quiz. Take us back to the Disney cruise. I'm wearing my. We've all got. I've got my cruise Disney cruise t jumper. Mum and Auntie have got their Disney t-shirts. So we've got high hopes for this quiz. <laughs> it says up there, I'll zoom in. How well do you know your Disney? And we're all ready. I will report back. So we've just done the Disney quiz and then we stayed for another one and did a music quiz. Unfortunately for the Disney we came second, which I'm glad about because we did so well on it. It was a really good one as well. Good mixture of films and music and then a few parks questions and even a cruise question, um, which was really good. And we spoke to the lady afterwards. I think she'd worked on Disney Cruise Line before because she was just as, as Disney mad or even more Disney mad than we are, um, which was brilliant. And then we stayed for the music one and we came second or we tied first in that and then they did a tiebreaker and we didn't get the tiebreaker right. So tied first um, in that one, but that was really good as well. And now we've got Dad and Luke are just doing table tennis and everyone else is waiting to do the bikes. Um, but I don't know what they're called. I think they're rally carts or BMX bikes, I don't know. But they're all waiting over there, but we've got tennis books in like 10 minutes, so I don't really know what's, what we're all gonna do. But yeah, we're just having doing some activities before lunch again, more food. But I think I'm gonna go for a bit of a lighter lunch today, do maybe some soup and salad before dinner tonight. <laughs> So just to the left of the restaurant is the Atlas Theatre and we're going to go in 
That's what's going on in the garden bar. They have these screens all around so that you can watch even if you're not in there, which is really good. And you can get Potters live on your telly as well. Um, back in your room. This is where all the shows are and they do some activities during the day. And then there's our table. Over here, the bar at the back is usually open in the evenings. What well, is open in the evenings? And then all the tables are usually laid out in rows. But as you can see, people just move. We've moved to make our little base to watch the shows or to do the activities. It's now just coming up to half past four, and we've come into the Alice Theatre to play some bingo for the afternoon. Got our tickets. And we're all just waiting. So it's a little later now and we are back in the room but we had an exciting afternoon because I won bingo. I won a line so I got £60 which is amazing. Nan and Grandad used to really love playing bingo so yeah, it was really nice to be able to do it here again. We used to do it when they came. Um, with us to Potters, um, so yeah, that was really fun. Before that, we watched West Ham play in, in the bowlers bar. We set up a base for the afternoon, and then me and Jacob quickly did the climbing wall, which we would have seen a little bit of. And then, yeah, we went and played bingo, which was really fun. And now we've come back, it's just on half past five, um, so we've got about an hour to get ready for dinner. But unfortunately, I am packing because. Tomorrow I've got lectures again at 9 o'clock, Monday morning, so I am going to be getting up tomorrow about 6 o'clock to make the journey back about half 6, so it um, takes about 2 hours, um, hopefully less with at that time in the morning, so yeah, about half 6 I'm going to hopefully be on the road tomorrow morning so that I'm back. The food has been absolutely amazing here, um, as we knew it would, there's so much of it, but absolutely stuffed, but somehow you can just eat more when it's the next sitting but yeah we've had a really good time mum got like a pack a welcome pack which i forgot to say about i feel like this vlog this vlog is just a bit all over the place but i've really just been as much as i've done some like university reading on my ipad i've really been trying to just be have spent some nice time away from university with family and just enjoy being here and doing the activities and enjoying the food and drink yes yeah, so i feel like this vlog is a bit all over the place so apologies for that but yeah, tonight's show is the Brits, so we'll have dinner for half six again and then get in there for a table. The show starts at nine. They often do like a little kiddie thing first. And then yeah, afterwards they usually do like a patriotic send off like previously when we've come. We used to all get flags. I'm not sure obviously how it'll be tonight, probably not. But we sing some, it's, it's such a family orientated place here. All the entertainment team are amazing. Uh, Mark Brewer, as I said earlier, is like the main entertainment man, but there's other men and women that are sort of like at his level um, that are brilliant as well. So yeah, it's really, really family orientated. But yeah, we've had a brilliant time. The only negative has sort of been our room. It's just not been brilliant. It's not been, we've stayed in other bungalow pluses before and it's just not up to the same standard. I'm not sure whether it's because mum added me on, obviously at the end, a lot later. So we might have, obviously been allocated a different room but yeah it's just it's bit, had a bit of a funky smell um it smells a bit damp um i've said like a garden center but it's just got a bit of a lingering smell around it doesn't feel for covid like other places like i was saying to mum other places that i've stayed at center parks where me and alex went to the wilderness when you went there it felt spotless obviously on the cruise it felt spotless and here just little things like the remote controls weren't in like plastic bags which other places they have been to make sure that they showed they've been cleaned in our mine and jacob's room it just feels like the, the telly is a bit dirty um and it just doesn't feel the cleanest like it's been covid cleaned if that makes sense but mum has spoken to someone and we will make it known on the feedback forms um but for next time we have found out that you can reserve or choose like a bungalow for £12 um, so if we come again which I'm sure we will sometime in the future I'm sure we will like pre-book a villa um, not a villa pre-book a, a bungalow like we do at Centre Park so just £12 because that's that's not much at all really so yeah but everything else has been amazing the activities the food as I said the entertainment has been amazing we've all done what we've wanted obviously we've had a brilliant time celebrating dad and Luke's birthdays 
but yeah it is a really nice place to come it's so family orientated like such fa family feel good everyone's so friendly and yeah it's got a good range of things to do the only thing we haven't been is swimming which it just hasn't fitted in we've done a lot today adam and luke play table tennis everyone else did like these little bike things we went and did tennis we did the climbing wall we watched the football we've done bingo yesterday we did badminton um and I can't even remember what else we did yesterday. Oh, this morning we did the quizzes, which were brilliant as well. I'm gutted that we didn't win them. But yeah, that's sort of an overview of what we've done. I'm probably going to end this video tonight because I'm just travelling in the morning, so you're not going to see much. It might have been the Halloween show last night, but we've got a Christmas tree at Potter's. I didn't finish the vlog last night because I was just so tired we had a really good evening watching the show they did the usual patriotic send-off which is just yeah it's just so family family orientated and it's such a fun place to be like the entertainment team are just brilliant the show last night was really really good again I think sitting downstairs did make the difference as much as it was nice sitting upstairs you had a good view in that I think just we're, we're used to sitting downstairs and it was just nicer uh, being right in the atmosphere. Yeah, favourite show? Mm, probably the Halloween one. I just really like the Halloween one. It wasn't all Halloween songs. There was a mixture of like, just, yeah, a mixture like of Halloween, Halloween songs, typical like the Time Walk was there. But last night's was just as good, I think, as well. Um... The lead singers, um, the two guys, Ben and Fraser, were incredible. Ben's voice was just amazing. And the girls were incredible and the dancers were amazing. It was a really, really good weekend. It was great being back because, as I said, we've been a couple of times before with Nan and Grandad and have a weekend away and chilled from university life because I come back today and it's full on again as I know the next two years are going to be. But I just wanted to show you a few things before finishing. First of all, obviously at the beginning of this video, I did a bit of a room tour of our bungalow. I forgot to also show that we did, it was a bungalow plus and we got a fridge and we got a kettle uh, facilities in, it hair dryer and that sort of thing. Also, I forgot to say about it was the location of the, the bungalow was really good. We was really close and it was always really quiet and we didn't hear much noise around. But it was literally just once we were inside, it wasn't obviously the greatest. So I'm going to hopefully insert a video of Auntie's hotel room here. She did a little room tour. So I'm hopefully going to be able to pinch that and just give you a bit of an insight to what a hotel room looks like.
Next thing I just wanted to show you, this was the daily program that I mentioned earlier that we got on the first day and it literally gives you a rundown from Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, of all the activities, so there's heaps. That's all what you can do on one day. So yeah, just, I'll pan down slowly. Some bits you have to book, like these bits where it has a little P next to it, you have to book them. Um, and then they have the thing called Potter's Live, which I said about as well, that um, you can watch back in your telly um, in your room. And then that's just when the times are for the food. There was a late night supper last night, not last night, yeah, last night, Sunday night, it was a pasta dish with garlic bread, which looked really nice, but obviously, as that sort of time, um, I'm not a fan of eating that late. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good choice of activities as well. We tried a little bit of everything. I think that is going to go and end this vlog. I'm not sure how good it's going to be. I feel like it's been a bit all over the place. But just take it what it is. I know there's not a lot of potters videos on YouTube. So I hope it gives you a good insight into what potters resort is like. Um, and if it's something that you'd like to try and go to, yeah, it's really good. The all-inclusiveness of it. I didn't realise, but all the breaks are now all-inclusive. They used to be only selected ones, but um, yeah, they're all, in all they're all all-inclusive now. Um, which it was just we were just saying it was so easy to not have to spend any money. The only, the only money we spent was for bingo and. I won on it as well so that was one of the highlights of the trip but yeah really really good weekend and I would definitely recommend Potters for you to go and give it a try as I said especially for families really good for families something for everyone so thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far I really hope you've enjoyed it please give it a like if you have subscribe to my channel for more exciting adventures to come and I will see you again real soon